Good morning, McFly subscribers. So today I'm at a place called Electra Lake, and this is, I hear, really good fishing. They used to allow boats and most people that I've talked to said that they caught their biggest fish on boat. However, the guy at the front said they don't allow them right now, not this season, so you can catch and release, but he wants um, if you hook one deep or if it's bleeding or anything like that to keep them uh, if you, if you kind of mess them up. So I do have a nice chest with me. I, they opened it up to catch and release this year. You can release them, but you have to... You have to do barbless, you have to, you know, all that. So you have to handle them properly, use a net, you know. So, the the normal of everything I've ever talked about, of trying to keep a fish healthy, especially trout, um, you know, what to do. But it is a beautiful place, this is really nice. And it's just amazing country up here. I just love southern Colorado. It's one of my favorite places. So I'm going to get to fishing, getting everything set up and whatnot. Alright guys, so today I'm testing that new... Pessy, pissy fun, I think it is. Um, I, I'm still trying to figure out how to pronounce it. Anyway, I'm fishing that new reel, that sword, the pissy fun sword. And I've got my sage method, uh, my streamer rod. This is a floating line that I've got on it right now. But I'm also bringing my sage 3200 with my sinking line. Okay, I don't have another spool for this yet. I'm also, I've also got a five and an eight weight with me. You know, in case something happens, I break the rod or whatnot. But the nice thing about having this backpack, plus, uh, you know, it's a vest backpack, is I can take an extra reel with me and extra flies and whatnot. I mean, I've got a ton of flies with me. So I've got extra, you know, midges and nymphs and whatnot. I've got some room here. I'm going to put a water bottle because it is a long hike. So um, they said no waders. You can't wait out. But, you know, I've got my, my nice net from, uh, Warf man, I forgot his name, uh, Warfield, I think it is, um, but I'll, I'll put a link to, to where you can get them. I got that nice net with me, that'll be nice, a little extra reach. Man, I love this backpack, I really do, and heck, for the price, 89 bucks, I think it was 79 something like that, I just can't beat it, it's a really good good price for a backpack and it it works really well the zippers are all great and you know, the more I use this the more I just love it so and their bathrooms right here right next to my car and then here is the trail of course there's the lake so you just start hiking down the trail it'll take you down we're pretty high up right now off the lake so if I keep hiking down the whole way walking this lake, there were just a handful of spots like this to actually get down to the lake. However, all of them had a steep embankment with lots of trees and shrubs. It was really tough to get any distance casting, and I even had trouble with roll casting here. So I decided to keep walking in hopes of finding that stock pond or river the gate guard was telling me about. All right guys, so I walked what I think is about two miles because he said it's roughly around two miles to the stock pond, which I think is where I'm at. You can see here's the, the lake on the other side of me, okay? The north end of the lake. And here's the stock pond. But along the way, I didn't see anywhere where I could actually get to the water. This little pond looked very promising, but I fished it for a few minutes and didn't see a single fish. So I decided to keep moving. All right guys, I'm coming up onto the, looks like the river. Look at the size of that elk print. Holy crap. Pretty sure that's an elk print. There's another, another, yeah, that's elk. Dang, some big elk. So guys, I walked up and down this. I didn't see a single trout tried from further away and then more up close just nothing not a trout in sight so I'll keep on walking maybe this is the like a creek and not a, the river he's talking about I mean it's small 
So it doesn't seem like a river. It's a creek for sure. But he didn't say anything about a creek, so we'll see. Let's keep walking. All right, there are trout right here. We'll see if I can get down there and cast somewhat. This was the river, but it had a very steep embankment to get down to it. It was difficult to even roll cast here, but I didn't really need much distance to reach the fish. And I got one, but he ran hard and the embankment was really steep. I tried to arrange my footing, then BAM! Uh. Yeah, I lost the fish on the fall and got my feet soaking wet. Also, my glasses lens popped out. It was pretty miserable. So I kept walking to find another spot that would be easier to fish along the river. But I really didn't have to walk that far before I saw hundreds of trout stacked on top of each other. Nice, another decent trout. And he was running really hard but the reel handled it quite well. I was up quite high, so I had to walk the fish down the bank until I could get closer to the water. This net is awesome. I really like it. Thanks, Charlie. Nice fish. All right, I'm gonna put him back in. So that was a good uh, 18, 19 inches, but fat. Real fat. Oh yeah. This is gonna be a good day. Even though I fell in the water. <laughs> Looks like they're stacked up just non-stop along here. I mean look at this. You guys I mean, I don't know if you guys can see into the water. They're stacked up. Just crazy along there. And they're all good size. There's this little seating area right here. So I think I'm gonna take my shoes off, dry them out, wring them out, wring out my socks from falling in. My feet are soaking. Uh, it would just make for a nicer day to not be, you know. I'm gonna fish this river for a little bit. So that was the creek over there, this is the river. It's good. Wet feet would be miserable on the hike back to the car. So this was really nice to dry them out. Hey, the reel held up. After dropping in the water, it still held a drag, even though it's uh, the drag isn't sealed. But it held up. I mean, it's a uh, it's a good reel. I think I like it. It held that fish pretty good. I mean, it wasn't like peeling a lot of line, but I got a little drag coming off, and it was smooth. It was actually really smooth. So I'm quite happy with this reel. I went back to that spot to get another. This is just too easy. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. Yeah. 
This fish was a little stronger, but the $58 reel held its own anyway. You know, this was funny. It wasn't any larger than the last, and it wasn't near as fat. However, it was a good fighter and much prettier. All right, time for another one. And that easy, another fish. He didn't seem to be fighting all that much. However, as soon as I got down to the water to net him, he took off and started peeling line better than any of the others. This happened a few times. I would get him close and then he would take off. Wow, a good sized fish, probably around 22 inches. All right guys, so now that I had my fun, I caught three good sized ones in that creek. I think I'm gonna, I mean, I, I tested the reel. It works great, I like it. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. It's, uh, it's a good reel. But anyway, so now that I had fun, caught three, tested out the reel, I think I'm gonna go back to the lake. I'm gonna walk around, see if I can't find some spots. It's a beautiful lake. I'm really, really enjoying myself on this. You know, there's some, vegetation you got to kind of walk through to get over to the spot but it's worth it it is it's and it's beautiful walk i mean it's a really nice walk i'm having a great time <laughs> this is awesome so i walked around trying to find spots that i could maybe fish the main lake but it was really tough to find i was having the same trouble i had earlier in the day where i couldn't get any back cast i even tried down closer to the dam on the dock However, there were a bunch of kids there scaring the fish and running in front of my cast. So I decided after a few minutes that three fish was enough and headed home. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. There is more info in the description section, so check that out. And please subscribe if you haven't. Now, it's your turn to go catch some fish.